Oh, hi everybody, friends of the Cathodic channel. I'm very, very pleased and glad to make this new whole video about this uh, amazing product. Uh, this video will be released in English language. Uh, it's the uh, it's a unique case in my in my channel, but I would like to to do this in English because I do think it is worth, especially for the uh, foreign people, to enjoy about this uh, amazing unboxing uh, of uh, this one of a kind uh, TV. Uh, this is one of a kind TV because it's uh, probably, probably I guess it's the only one left in the world, probably, uh, for sure in Europe, um, about this uh, set, which is a TV uh, cathode ray tube by, made by Thompson, 28 inches, model WX65, uh, released in Europe. Uh, this particular model is uh, were released uh, for Italian market. Uh, I'm ubiquitous in, in Italy, and um, this is 100 hertz set made uh, by by Thompson in a brand new condition, pristine, also uh, box condition. I would like before doing the unboxing and a little bit of testing. I would like to point out. Uh, uh, two parameters um, about this TV. Uh, first of all, uh, about 100 Hertz, because a lot of people ask me about uh, 100 Hertz set. And I do think there are a lot of mis misunderstanding about this, uh, uh, this set. Why? Because a lot of people think that 100 Hertz sets are not good, uh, or maybe for gaming, uh, but it's okay for other stuff, but it's not okay, and blah blah. Uh, a lot of people knows absolutely nothing about TVs, so I would like to point out this, that uh, for me 100Hz TVs are very good, but uh, the, the main condition is that uh, you have to have a top-notch, high-end TV set. Why? Because one of the Hertz uh, needs uh, a lot of very good electronics to work properly. And for this reason, uh, if you have a not uh, very high-end models, uh, you will have a lot of juddering, a lot of um, uh, artifacts, uh, a lot of noise, a lot of not very good stuff on the TVs, while if the electronics and all the internal, let's say, mechanics of the TVs works properly, you will have a very, very, very nice uh, and sharp uh, picture. Another important thing is that 100 Hz TVs are very, uh, let's say, uh, strongly tuned, so um, they're extremely sensitive about uh, uh, usage and wear. Uh, so, after a few years, if you use very, very often, uh, you know, especially the tubes start to be a little wear, uh, much more than 50 Hz, and so you, you have a lot of difference uh, in, in, um, in the quality and in the, you know, how a TV looks. If you take two different sets, uh, one hardly used and another one heavily, heavily used. This is a brand new, so I'm very, very, uh, you know, curious about the, um, the quality and uh, the image of this brand new stuff, which is, I repeat, for me, one of a kind in the world. Um, so secondly, and so for the 100 Hertz, uh, I hope I answer your question. There are a lot of, for example, Sony's that are not very good at all, about 100 Hertz. Uh, also Panasonic doesn't have, for me, very nice. I love Panasonic, but for 100 Hertz, I don't like very much them. Uh, Why, for example, Leve, it's a top brand for 100 Hertz. Uh, uh, you have to know better about uh, also the models. Uh, concerning the models, this is the second uh, second discussion I want to point out it's that this TV is the top-notch top hand of the Thompson um, 
company. Thompson is a, is a French company and uh, the same as before, a lot of people you know, ask me about this, about that, about uh, what, what about this, uh, what about Thompson, what about, uh, you know, Löwe, what about uh, uh, Telefunken and blah, blah. And I always say that you have to know exactly the chassis internal and the uh, date of manufacturing, okay? Because, for example, Thompson was one of the main, probably the, the biggest uh, manufacturer company of TV sets, but not, not just the TV sets, but in general for electronics during the 90s and also the, the early 2000s because after during the 90s Thomson just grew up very very much and started to acquire and to buy a lot of uh, different companies in uh, all around Europe like uh, Nordmende, like IG, like Siemens and um, Telefunken so all of these sets were made by Thomson. For example, I have a Telefunken Stark, uh, uh, which is an amazing uh, aesthetically set. Inside there is a, a Thomson uh, X90, something like that. I don't remember exactly, but uh, inside you will find a, a Thomson chassis. So, Thomson was a very, very, very big company. And uh, they were making and they were building different set from the crap ones made in Poland or made in Thailand or whatever uh, until the top end like this one uh, made in France so this was a set made made in France which was uh, of course the homeland of uh, of the Thompson and so the, um, the diversification of the branches and of the products in uh, for Thompson were very 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 extreme uh, so it's not about what about Thompson? No, it's about what about this particular set of Thompson uh, or, or whatever. And, mm, because, uh, for example, if you take Leve, uh, Leve was a you know brand that always made everything in Germany. So it's a, it's a very let's say mm, normal company, uh, which you know the quality was more or less more or less the same through all the products. Not, not, not just the same, but more or less, okay? Uh, while this kind of um, company uh, that, you know, were very, very, very big, you, you, you can have a very, very, very different um, quality of uh, TVs or uh, electronic products, okay? So, this was a high-end made in France, uh, 128 inches uh, um, widescreen TV. Okay, so uh, now let's start the unboxing. Okay, I already seen through the through the little gates uh, on the on the back that this this particular set is equipped with um, uh, with an amazing Toshiba made in Japan tube. So that's why I again repeat that you know you can find an incredible tube and incredible you know electronics in in these devices like. Um, like this one, that you know, Toshiba for me are the top notch uh, together with the Matsushita Panasonic of uh, Japanese brands and the build, uh, build quality for the, for the Asian companies. And you can find in this tampon, in, the, in this set, uh, these top end uh, tubes. Why, if you take, because the WX was the really top end, if you take the WF, for example, which wasn't the, the top end, you can find maybe a Thompson uh, tube, which was good, but not absolutely the same quality as, as a Toshiba Red Label uh, made in Japan um, uh, tubes. Okay, so let's start the unboxing and let's do, let's see some, um, you know, some testing how it works and of course if it works after 20 years because this model is 2002 after 20 years in this box if it turns on immediately or not
here we are guys okay the unboxing is not uh, is not hard but you have to know how to do it uh, look at this amazing TV set I will show you better on the rear too brand new condition with this amazing basil blue they they were interchangeable on this one so you could you could interchange with different colors uh, I chose when I when I bought it uh, the, the, the blue one which I love it while here on the back you have the the bag you know, with the with the instruction and with the remote control batteries and uh, you know warranty and blah blah and everything I'm sure there there is also the electrical scheme so you can have you can uh, you have all the documentation also for you know repairing stuff and everything you see and then in here the cable for the power supply and then you have to link a uh, device on the TV so three SCARTs all RGB and then you have the composite in here then you have also the, the optical for the because this is a this is a, a set with an amazing uh, pairs of um, of speaker you have four speaker on the front and a subwoofer in here this one is a subwoofer and you see here there is the label made Thompson 28WX65ES made in France made in France wow absolutely amazing okay guys now let's try to plug in okay and see if it works or not and if it works let's do some some testing okay guys I plugged the cable and let's see after 20 years if it works the red light I see it's on, so we have some chance. Let's see now. Okay, I see the relay, I hear the relay. I hear the high voltage and voila! This is it. Wow. Image is absolutely amazing. Wow. Okay, let's see. I'm using not an original one just because I would like to know if everything is working uh, before you know unbox everything I'm a huge collector <laughs> let's try Italian let's try Italy wow first installation of the new brand new TV CRT makes me really feel I'm like six years old again and it's absolutely amazing and gorgeous okay wait i'm trying to to change the shuttering all right guys so now you're watching what i'm watching more or less yes exactly the same one uh, now the shutter is 100 it's fixed 100 because this tv is 100 hertz otherwise you will see the stuttering of the camera but the image i assure you it's incredibly focus incredibly focus it's so sharp and it's absolutely stable wow italy welcome don't forget to read the message okay let's go on avi tray avi one avi two with the recording okay let's go on auto programmation no all right all right let's do some preferences okay come back i'm really watching with you the you know everything so is the first is <laughs> the first uh, you know configuration name maybe one you can name everything you can like name whatever 
you know, Xbox on, or whatever. The convergence is great. Preferences, all right. Installation is, okay, installation is this one, sorry, eh? I, I'm doing really things with you. Okay, image, why? There, there are really too many, <laughs> too many things, you know, to learn. Luminosita, so brightness, which is really, ad okay, it switches. Contrast, as always, it's really, it's so bright, it's too much. Also, the, the sharpness, it's too much. Other option, monitor mastering, riduzione del rumore. Wow. Standard. Personale, personal. Automatic, you can control, 69, automatic and whatever. Oh, that's, that's amazing. That's really amazing. Yeah, televideo and whatever, blah, blah. Wow, this is, this is, okay. And here are the channels. Okay, guys, okay. Uh, so you just saw it work, it's working uh, greatly. Uh, now let's make some in-depth test. Uh, I'm very curious also about the, the, the audio and how it works, uh, you know, also for the audio, I'm very curious about everything. So let's go some in-depth test with something connected in it. All right, uh, again, I, it's a completely multi-standard TV, so you can connect NTSC uh, and not just PAL uh, inputs, so you via composite, not just via RGB. So it's absolutely, mm, a complete set and it's very very nice looking all right guys I may I'm making some test with uh, 240 with a Wii okay I, I was trying to to you know to set the stuttering the best way but I couldn't I don't know why so if you see this bending on your screen it's always the camera okay and it's not the tv the tv is absolutely stable and amazing what is uh incredible about these tv sets um, uh, in a brand new condition is that you know the the the, the, um, the brightness is absolutely gorgeous absolutely and the contrast is amazing uh the the the, the convergence is great and everything is really, is really amazing, okay? This is the 240 grid. Uh, the, the, the convergence is great. The, the, the geometry is absolutely nice. It's almost perfect, I would say. Uh, you couldn't see on the bottom because of this, but uh, I assure you on the on the bottom left and bottom right and upper and upper left upper right it's absolutely perfect uh, anyway there is the service menu for any kind of you know regulation but it's absolutely gorgeous uh, the linearity is perfect uh, and everything is, is is great the 100 hertz sets really are very sensitive about everything of this uh, and uh, if it's not perfect, if it's not high quality, uh, you have a lot of misconvergences, uh, uh, problem with geometry, you have a lot of issues, especially on the 28 and 32 inches model, so the, the, the biggest model, uh, and the 36, it's, it's a mess completely. Um, so, and I, I've seen a lot of them with, with really not, not very nice. Uh, convergence and, and and geometry and everything so uh, in this case with a brand new set it's really really everything perfect and one important stuff is that now we, we are in 240p uh, if we make and if we go to 48i an interlaced signal signal 
the image is absolutely as you can uh, yeah the, it's different the banding but it's still there on your screens um, the, the image is absolutely uh, stable absolutely you don't see the interlace signal and everything and everything is absolutely uh, fixed on the screen you don't see any flicker at all and for this reason I often uh, make uh, you know advices about this TV uh, for uh, people who want to enjoy your um, the, the video games um, with uh, you know the newer model like Xbox 360 and uh, PS3 uh, which you have everything in widescreen mode and in 48 uh, interlaced sig signal these sets are very 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 nice it's absolutely gorgeous how it works in a brand new condition as you can see you can uh, you know the image you can you can change the contrast i put down and the color even the color you can you can uh, uh, you can manage even if we are in rgb um, because now we are in rgb mode via scart you can you can you can manage your color with no problem, the saturation, which usually you cannot do it, okay? Uh, so this is a very nice and important feature. And you can, and also the, the sharpness, you can, you can change your sharpness, okay? Uh, which usually you cannot, uh, you cannot change uh, the sharpness in RGB with most of the TV, while in this case you can change, uh, and for me this is the, the perfect, uh, the perfect, um, uh, the perfect set all right all right it's amazing yeah, amazing i'm very thrilled to to uh, review this um this uh, this tv okay so we make uh, our test uh, let's try to make to um, to put some um, uh, some game uh, I don't have here the Xbox or PS3, and so I would uh, I would like to put some um, GameCube uh, game forcing in uh, widescreen mode, and let's see how it works. Okay, guys. First of all, I would like to try a 240p game. Uh, this is a Chrono Trigger SNES version through SNES uh, RX uh, Wii which I love the Wii, absolutely. It's my favorite console because you can you can change everything, even the aspect ratio. So in this case, we will try in widescreen because it, it makes everything in widescreen. And I would like to test, first of all, in uh, 240p, all right, RGB. We do have a special, in the image menu, a special option in which you can see motion mastering. If you switch it off, with on you can have a very fluid uh, motion control, while without it you can, um, there is a little bit of judging. Uh, it's a great option. I will keep um, on because for the game, I think it's uh, absolutely great. Uh, exactly in this case, in this case uh, with panel, uh, it's it's uh, it's very good with this this uh, feature. Well, the, the everything is absolutely amazing, even in 240p. Uh, for me, the, the most incredible thing is the black. The black is absolutely dark. Absolutely. The focus is very, very, very good. This one is perfect through the whole screen. The contrast is absolutely great. The image is absolutely uh, flicker free.
I do think also this kind of games uh, is very very nice on this set. So if uh, the set is, is higher end, uh, the image is absolutely good. Uh, absolutely. In a brand new condition, you don't have any kind of uh, bugs or any kind of uh, defects, like issues, like uh, convergence issue, geometry issues, or whatever. Very fluid of the movement, no artifacts at all, and really the, the volume is, and, and the, the audio is absolutely, absolutely stunning. Very clear, very, very clear and powerful. Very rich and saturated. Oh, great! That's perfect. Very nice, very nice image. Let's try another uh, game, and um, uh, we will try the Nintendo with the GameCube games in widescreen mode. are incredible. Okay, 60 Hz, great. Colors are so rich, guys. And the, the, the black, the black is dark, is really, really dark. Wow. It's in widescreen mode, it's amazing. Let's see some some audio. Wow. Let's try to make some audio stuff. Stereo. Okay, Dolby Virtual. So you can have a Dolby more surround effect. Bilanciamento, volume, equalizzatore grafico. You can ah oh, you can change the frequency buses Wow you can change everything you see personal movies voice music flat standard personal The sharpness, it's, it's, wow, and the contrast, the black is such black. Maybe it's a bit too much even the color, but it's okay. We can, we can keep it like that and we can see. And the, the Nintendo with forcing widescreen is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I don't know if you see. I'm actually seeing uh, my, my display in my in my smart, uh, smartphone, and I can see on the on the right uh, some green things, and on the left some red things. I don't know if you see on the screen. Anyway, if you see that uh, in real life, uh, it's absolutely. Uh, not there, okay? So it's absolutely perfect in real life. I don't see any kind of tint. So, just for the records. Maybe some of you can say, okay, I can see that. And, uh, I assure you, it's perfect. Audio is also gorgeous. And with 48i interlaced signal VRGB, you can really, really, really see no flickering at all. Perfect. No, 
Ah, that's great. Let's try another another game. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords, eternally retold. great uh, everything is working flow C and, uh, and really perfectly so cover two and everything is really at the top end uh, so especially the sharpness and the, the contrast maybe it's a bit too much uh, probably but uh, with this kind of game I think it's really but you have to, to know what you Okay, so it's very important to know what structure you're going to find and in which condition. Okay, guys, uh, probably it's a little bit too long this video for now, but uh, uh, I'm sure you enjoyed it. And you are I hope uh, it, it's more clear now about the 100 Hz set and the brand new um, sets that. I own and, and sometimes I sell and uh, which I have in collection. Uh, thank you everything and if you have any question just write on the comment uh, section I will uh, I will answer you with pleasure. Namco.